It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at door number 16 of the Virgin Wines Beer Advent Calendar. Uh, Virgin Wines contacted us and they said to us on Instagram, would you like to try some of our beer in an Advent Calendar? And I said, why not? Why not? Uh, so I give, give them my address. Here it comes. Absolutely fantastic. Without further ado, let's open door number 16. I'll talk a little bit more about the calendar in a moment, but I, I like to show the beer off first. Oh. Siren Craft Brew, this is Yulu. This is a Session Pale Ale, 3.6% ABV. Uh, described as a refreshing and exciting in equal measure. Yulu is brewed with Earl Grey tea and lemon zest for taste that belies its strength. I've had this. I have. I've had some of the beers from this advent calendar. I've been pleasantly surprised that I haven't. And I've had like some really exciting beers from this advent calendar. Um, but I have had this one and I remember holding on to this beer for quite some time because I was like, uh, Earl Grey tea and lemon zest. And I was like 3.6% and I just kind of held on to it and held on to it and held on to it. And then when I finally got round to reviewing it, I was really surprised by it. I was pleasantly surprised by it. So I'll tell you why. I'll show you why. I'm not a 3.6% ABV type of guy, if I'm honest with you. Um, if I go to a bottle shop, if, I, if I'm if i in a supermarket, I, I, I generally won't buy anything at 3.6% ABV. So you can see the reason why this beer, when I originally reviewed it, stayed in my cupboard for quite some time but honestly it's it, what they've done with it with the earl grey tea and the lemon zest it it, it, it does work it does work trust me and um, we got a one finger uh white head uh it's a hazy straw colored beer in terms of sediment in the bottom there's no real sediment going on in the bottom of the glass it looks good though Kind of, what do they call that? Micro filtered, I suppose, where there's a little bit of haze there. Lovely white head. Lovely conditioning to the beer. Look at that. I'll be able to show you more of that later on. I'll be able to really kind of whirl the beer around for you and show you the good conditioning in the beer. Uh, let's get the aroma then. Yeah, it, it definitely has that kind of cold tea. It's almost like a dulling aroma. It's almost like a really peppery and spicy and dulling, if that makes sense. It's lemon. It wants to be kind of lemon and grapefruit and all of these wonderful flavours, but it's kind of like, it's dumbed down a bit. Really peppery and spicy and lemony. Let's dive in. Herbal, really herbal. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I've just drunk a New England IPA. I've just reviewed a New England IPA. And that was 5.5% ABV from Estonia and that was great that was great but this is holding its own it's 3.6 percent ABV it's brewed with Earl Grey tea and, and lemon zest but it's holding its own against the New England IPA the reason why I reviewed a New England IPA before this whereas most of you know that I would put them the other way around is that I did Door number 15 of the beer advent calendar just now. 
and now we've stood here and done, now we've done door number 16. So um, I do my beer reviews in batches so I can save myself a little bit of time. I do generally do about, years ago I used to do about four or five different beer reviews at the same time and I used to be absolutely rocking at the end of my beer reviews. But I don't do that anymore. I kind of, I keep it to like two, maybe three as a push. So because this is a beer advent calendar and because I don't know what's coming from one beer to the next, I've reviewed the Estonian New England IPA, which was fantastic. But this is holding its own. It's holding its own. It does indeed taste like Earl Grey. It's got a really spicy pepperiness to it, and you get a little bit of ze lemon zest. It's very different from a New England IPA. It's very different from a New England IPA in that it's more peppery and spicy, but there's a connection. There's a definite connection with that kind of peppery spiciness, that, that herbal flavour from the, from the Earl Grey, combining with the lemon zest is giving you a, a sense, a sense of an IPA, a sense of a New England IPA. And I think that's really clever from Siren Craft Brew. And I think that's the reason why I liked it so much in the first place, that, as I mentioned earlier, it sat in my cupboard for so long. I was like, will I ever get round to drinking this beer? It surprised me then it's surprising me now. It's really good. It's really good. Now I'm able to really wash the beer around. Look at the quality of this beer. Look at that. Good lacing, good head retention. Being 3.6% ABV, it's very drinkable. It's very refreshing. It's nice. It's a sociable drink. It's a... It's a 3.6% ABV. Um, your parents and your sister-in-law and their family, family of like 10, turn up on a Sunday afternoon and they surprise you and say, get the drinks out. And you're like, whoa, you know, and all of a sudden there's a barbecue going on in your garden. It's one of those beers where it's a day drinking beer. It's a respectable beer. It's 3.6% ABV. You could drink eight cans of the damn stuff. In those situations, if that, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed the Virgin Wines beer advent canned. I really have. We're down to our last six and 24. We're down to our last eight beers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, how's your maths? We're down to our last eight beers. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed doing this um, advent calendar. I'd like to do it next year, actually. I'd like to do it next year. Um, I just like the variety, the selection, the variety, the amount of different beers that I've had. I've had good quality lagers, good quality pale ales, good quality New England IPAs, IPAs, dry hop lagers. Um, what are, we've had a Belgian blonde beer from Delirium Tremens that was really good. Brewery Hugh, I should say. The one thing I will say, the one thing I will say, and it's a bit of a glaring one, but maybe there's another eight doors. Maybe we might find one. Is at the moment winter time. If I can give Virgin Wine some feedback, winter time. It's cold, it's a bit miserable, it's a bit horrible. Us beer drinkers, we love to drink stout this time of year. If you're a big enough beer drinker that you're willing to buy yourself a beer advent calendar, then you generally like stout. And I think if I could give some honest feedback to Virgin Wines, the lack of stout at this time of year I think they could do with maybe three stouts in there, three stouts in this box. And then I think they would have like a really lovely package here. They'd have a really lovely selection of beers. Stouts or porter. Maybe even one cheeky imperial stout. But anyway, rating for the Siren Zulu, Yulu, Yulu, 
um, session pale ale. 3.6% ABV. I like it. I like it enough. Yeah, to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.